I'm going to be building the largest berry farm in all of LEGO Fortnite so that I can get 10,000 snow berries. Why you may ask? Well you see, I'm a snowman and I recently located my village to a desert. Snowmen and heat don't mix very well and to prevent me from becoming a pile of slush, I need something to give me heat resistance. And snow berries are the perfect thing for that. Each berry gives you 2 minutes of protection from the heat and they regrow really quickly. If you enjoy the video, then like and subscribe. And one last thing, if you guys want me to do a 10,000 V-Bucks giveaway, then this video needs to reach 2k likes. Let's farm 10,000 snowberries. So I'm going to be getting 10,000 snowberries, but to do that, I first need to build a bigger farm because this dinky thing is not going to cut it. Also, these plants seem to be floating. Um, I don't know how, I don't know when this broke, but I wonder if I can still just collect stuff from it. Apparently I can. It's kind of interesting how I can still collect berries from these plants that are just floating. Okay, so first I need to build a grain mill to actually turn these snowberries I have into snowberry seeds. So let me gather some materials and build it. Now I do need three shells and I only have one right now, so I'm gonna have to go into the plains to find some of the roller guys. Looks like I found my first one right here. Just take them out real quick and then gotta go find another one. And here's the final one. Just gotta kill them and now we can go build the grain mill. All right, let me put the grain meal right here, and then I can start making some snowberry seeds. I'm just gonna build a chest right here to store the extra snowberries in. Now, I'm not sure what happens if I break this. Oh, they still stay there, but I can get the farmland back. Interesting. That might actually be very useful. Let's make some more farmland, like, right here. And then make some plants. First, I better talk to my um, NPC that's stuck on the wall and get some amber. Then, I'm gonna go get some fertilizer to make some more land plots. I'm just gonna build a bed real quick and then recruit Sky to stay at my village. That way, she can farm some stuff. If I can talk to her, that is. She's just, like, underground. Let's just tell her to grow some food. I'm not sure, but I think they'll just, like, magically get berries and stuff, even if they're not near the farmland here, which is a little bit weird. Guys, I think I just discovered an infinite seed glitch. Like, so you place one seed in here, right? But then when you break it, it will give you one full fruit, which you can grind back down into two seeds. So I can just put that in the mill, and then I'll just have made a seed out of nowhere, which is a little bit interesting. Let's see. Do the chickens drop fertilizer if they eat something? I hope they do. Poop something out. Need fertilizer. Okay, he just ate it and did nothing. That's good to know. Collecting fertilizer is gonna take a while because I need one for like every single plot of land. I'll just keep dropping peppers because I got an infinite supply here. In fact, I think I could just lure some chickens back to my village. Although, I don't know if I'm going to do that yet. Might save that for a future video. There's a supply drop over here. I'll grab it quickly, but then I'll need to just get back to collecting fertilizer. Okay, so it does appear like if you put multiple seeds in a thing, it grows multiple plants, but then it just makes it really hard to harvest it. So honestly, I think just one berry per plot is going to make things a lot easier. Okay, I'm going to have one slot right over here that is just dedicated to um, basically duping. So I put 18 in here, 19 actually, and then I can just break these all and then put them in the mill and get twice the amount of seeds. Okay, I got a shovel now. Can dig up some dirt and then build some more plots of land. Um, somehow the torch seems to be attached to my shovel. Don't know how that works exactly, but I guess I'm just burning the ground to get dirt. There we go, got that all filled up. Hopefully it'll start growing soon. Okay, so this is interesting. They actually have changed it since the last time I played, so now the max stacks can be 50. This will actually make it really easy to manage my storage because I won't constantly have to build new chests because I can have almost twice as much stuff in a single stack. Let's see if my villagers have done their jobs. Yep they have and i think it'll be 50 um no it's, only, it's still only 30 snowberries but it's an extra 30 snowberries from doing nothing so i would definitely take it so for my farm right now i'm just slowly letting these crops grow up then breaking them 
and then building new garden plots. And it actually works really well. So these all just grew up, we'll collect the berries, and then break the garden plots and keep building them out. I'm surprised this didn't get fixed. I'm glad it didn't because it will make it so much easier for me to actually farm. I got 11 more plots and I'll expand it this way now. Peely's actually kind of rude. <laughs> he thinks my village level is too low because it's only level 9. Okay, so for materials apparently the max stack is still 30. I wonder if it's just for food that they changed it. No, it's it's for stone too now. Okay, that'll make things easier to organize at least. Because now chests basically have almost twice as much space. Oh, can I, I can have stacks of 50 bright core. Let's put some more in. We're at 300 snowberries right now, which is 3% of what I need. So it's actually not gonna be too hard, I think. If they have berries, you can't break the plots, but when you take the berries off, you can. That's interesting. So if you're gonna do this, guys, make sure to take the berries off. That way you can actually keep the plant there. I guess I just got lucky before and was always taking the berries off before I broke it. Let's go ahead and make some more plots. Can actually make them kind of close. Closer the better, I think. These ones are slowly growing up, that's nice. Just gotta make sure you don't hit the plants. Because it's kind of a pain if you accidentally break it. And my farm is expanding relatively fast. The only problem with these plants right here that um, have like five plants in the same spot is it's really hard to collect berries. Cause like you can see right here, I can collect if I'm at a, like the right exact angle, but most of the time you can't actually, so you have to do weird stuff like this and push your camera into it to actually be able to grab those berries. Especially for like this plant right here, There we go, if I go back right here, then I can get one. There we go, I'm officially at 400 snowberries, 4% done. I can hold a total of 1,000 snowberries in one of these chests, so all I need to do is just have 10 chests, which is gonna cost 50 copper, and I think the dupe glitch is probably patched, but I still have a lot of copper bars left over, so I should be fine. Now, while I wait for these crops to grow, I'm gonna actually start building a fenced in area to expand my farmland into, as well as just like a cool little storage room for my uh, food. Something a little bit better than just this and one chest. I think I'll do it like right down here, starting with some gates. And here we go, gates done. So. I actually can't get this in the right spot because I'm on vacation right now, so I don't have my keyboard with that has arrow keys, and I can't adjust this at all. I can't make it scooch over, so I think I'm just gonna have it stick out like that. It's really unfortunate that I can't actually fix it, but I mean, that doesn't look too horrible, so I'll just keep it like that for right now. Oh, wow, look at this. All these are grown. I'm gonna put my berries in here and let's see how many I get from a full harvest from all this. All right, I got all the berries I could, except from these plants. Sometimes I can't get them all. There we go, I can get that. And there's just like some berries left on here that it just won't let me get most of the time. But um, from harvesting all these, I got uh, 90 berries, which is really good actually. So I'm gonna work on this more for a bit and then I will see you guys once I made some decent progress. There we go, we got this side walled off right now. Over here, I'm gonna extend the walls out that way later, but for right now, this will be good for the garden area. And it looks as if all my stuff is finally grown up right here so I can keep expanding.
Okay, so it's been a couple hours, and I've really made a lot of progress with the snowberry farm. As you can see, there's a ton of plants, and I made a little area down here um, to basically store them all, and I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, I've been harvesting them a bit, but not too much. Uh, there's a thousand in here, and then this one has around 800 snowberries. And then, as you can see, I'm still expanding this, and I hope to like fill in maybe this entire area. That would be pretty cool, but it might be a bit overkill. And I also have been working on this path right here, just because it looks better. Now, while I was doing that, all my NPCs somehow managed to get stuck in the floor of my castle, and they won't come out now, so... <gasps> it's a little bit interesting, and I can't even like talk to them unless I go from underneath. Anyway, so I'm gonna do one harvest and see how many berries I get from here. I think it'll probably be around 200. Let's get started. Okay, everything's harvested and the grand total comes out to 238. Um, so it's actually a lot. And I can just keep expanding and making more rows. And it only takes about 10 minutes to like plant them and let them fully grow up. So you can actually expand it pretty fast. Like, and you don't have to spend forever gathering chicken poop and animal poop and stuff to make the actual land plots. So, so far I've gotten actually 2000 snowberries, which is a pretty good pace, I think. But I just have to keep planting plants and harvesting them. And look, as you can see, they're already regrowing, so at a point, I'll be able to just keep harvesting nonstop because they regrow so fast, which will actually be pretty cool. But now it's time to plant some more plants. As these are growing up, I'm just collecting the berries. This is so efficient. Last one. Now I can break these and then make more rows. Okay, so I'm almost at a thousand snowberries in my inventory right now, which is kind of crazy. I've done a little bit more planting. One more. There's a thousand snowberries just in my inventory. I'll go over here and put them in the chest. I'm. This is like going super fast. There we go, that's another thousand. So we got one thousand here, two thousand, well, short of three, three thousand, four thousand plus all this, so it's actually pretty close to being halfway done. This farm, it's almost at the point where you can just harvest nonstop. See right now, I just harvested over here and these ones are already regrowing.
All right, so I'm almost done harvesting the field right now. Just gotta get as many as I can from these finicky plants right here. There we go. I just broke 500 from one single harvest. I started all the way down there, um, and I think they'll probably be regrowing already. Yeah, look at that. I, I started harvesting all this, and it's already regrowing. So I'm at the point where I'm pretty sure they're gonna regrow faster than I can harvest. Because right now I have like 500 plants right here and I still am gonna fill up this area. So this farm is gonna be insane. So I'm almost done here. I just got one more row to do and then I'll have plant all the plants I need to and can just finish collecting those 10,000 snowberries, which is really exciting. Got them all planted. Now I just need to wait for them to grow up and then I can harvest the berries and then break these plots. Okay, so this is the last plot I got to break. Then everything will be done and I'll just add um, a walkway this way just to make it easier and then I can start collecting the 3,000 or so berries that I need to left to get 10,000. Now one interesting thing that just randomly happened was these chickens they were here and they got stuck and now they can't move but they just poop out fertilizer um, just in the same spot so it's kind of like a fertilizer farm which is a little bit interesting and they're not despawning which is also nice and like they just poop them out constantly. So there's fertilizer here again. This guy's got fertilizer here that I can get. And so it's actually really nice. And they can move a little bit, but they, they're not gonna escape. So I got infinite fertilizer basically. So for chests, this one's filled up, that's 1,000. That one's filled up 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000. 7,000, and then this one isn't filled up at all. But So I got 7,000 snowberries right now, which is pretty crazy. Actually, this one's not fully filled up. Now it is. So that's 7,000 there. Okay, so the entire field is um, ready to be harvested. I'm gonna start on this end over here um, and harvest everything and see just how many berries I get from one single harvest. So let's get started. Okay, this is the last of the berries I need to harvest. There we go, so 720 berries from all that, which is pretty crazy. And if you look over here, they're already regrowing. So I could just harvest indefinitely and that would come out to a crazy amount of berries per hour, I think. Okay, so I looked back at my recording. It took 14 minutes to get 720 berries. So if we go here, 720 berries in 14 minutes is around 50, 51 berries per minute. Um, times that by 60, We'll be getting 3,000 berries for, per hour from the farm. Anyways, let's go back and finish harvesting those 10,000 snow berries. Okay, so I got the path done right here. Comes down all the way here, goes this way. You can go out the gates down here. Um, it looks really cool actually, and it just makes it easier to get around. It doesn't actually use that much wood. Um, and then over here, we got eight chests. These. Um, these eight that are on the outside, they're all filled up with a thousand snowberries each. And then we just got these two chests that I need to fill up um, to be at 10,000 snowberries. So all I have to do is just collect those snowberries. Can we just talk about why this NPC is down here? Like, how do you even get down there? I know this NPC over here is just stuck in a rock. Um, but maybe that one's in a cave or something. Anyways, let me know in the comments if you've been having troubles with your NPCs, or if you haven't, like what you've been doing differently to actually manage them, because I haven't really actually found them that useful. Mostly they just get stuck 
and then just say they're, you know, 77% done with the job, and then you come back an entire hour later, and they haven't done anything, which makes them, like, not useful at all. There's 9,000. And finally, here is the last 500, making this a total of 10,000 snowberries. There's a thousand each chest, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10,000. So that's 10,000 snowberries collected, which is kind of insane to think about. And while collecting all the snowberries, I had built this big farm, nice path. Um, it looks really cool actually. Well worth all the time I spent, and I'll never have to worry about overheating in the desert ever again. Anyways, if you enjoyed and want to see more content like this, then make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.